What is going on guys? Welcome back to my FIFA 15 career mode series where I'm going to take Brentford from a championship team to a Premier League and possibly Champions League winning team. And as we get things moving here in the 7th minute against Huddlesfield, a great stop by the keeper as the shot on target is saved. And here again, Gray cuts, uh, is keep going, cuts inside with some skill. Not the greatest of skill, he's only 3 star skills, but nevertheless... 21 minutes in, it's still um, nil-nil, not much happening, and that's all that happened in the first half. It was a very boring half, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Not much happening, but as we digress in the 56th minute here, the ball is played through to Gray, who then cuts inside, but unfortunately for us, the keeper is able to save it, just cleared off the line, took a deflection off the keeper, and... Uh, as we get things, uh, they manage to clear it. However, it goes up for a throw, and in the 74th minute here, the ball, wonderful bit of play. Uh, Gray is through. Keep going, Gray. Gray then cuts inside. Bit of um, complication, but nevertheless, Andy, good old Andy Gray, finds the back of the net, and it's Brentford 1, Huddlesfield 0. And as we get things moving here again in the 88th minute here, uh, Gray cutting inside, keep going, keeps going, then gets tackled, and Andy Gray is not happy about that, despite the smile on his face. But nevertheless, a penalty, surely, surely we can now make it 2-0, and hopefully we can continue and uh, we can start a winning streak in this episode. Hopefully, this will be a turning season, a turning point on our season, Andy Gray being tackled here, up against the Huddlesfield uh, goalkeeper. Hopefully Andy Gray can find the back of the net. He should be able to. And as he steps up, powers up, a little outside the green. But wait, what? Alrighty then. How on earth, how on earth did that not go in? I mean, how did, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you'd have to be severely special to to not score a penalty. But nevertheless, not just a few seconds later, still in 90th minute stoppage time, Hogan plays it to Gray and we score and it's 2-0 and that surely has to wrap up the game now. 2-0, yep, that has officially wrapped up the game. We are finally getting results on the board against good, well, I'm not sure if Huddlesfield are a good team, no disrespect for them, but I'm not sure they're the greatest team in this league. But as we move on here against Bolton, uh, Bolton, uh, as we move on here against Bolton, hopefully we'll be able to get the win and we can continue the short winning streak that we are currently on. But nevertheless, Bolton are a good team in this uh, league. They didn't get, I don't think that, no, they did not get promoted in the league. But nevertheless, in the 12th minute here, wonderful bit of play from Bolton. But Button had to force the save and it went out for a corner, but nothing resulted from it. And in the 22nd minute here, wonderful bit of play. Gray picks up the ball, keeps going, cuts inside a bit, keeps cutting inside, keeps going, running past the defence, and scores. And it's Brentford 1, Bolton 0. Fantastic bit of play from Gray. Submachine gunning everyone in his sight. The keeper is not happy. Maybe it's because he's ginger, who knows. But nevertheless, in the 39th minute here, Bolton keep going. Um, a challenge just outside the box, and I, when I saw that, I personally thought it was a penalty. But nevertheless, the, the referee gave it as a free kick, which I'm fine with. I mean, it's not, if it's not a penalty, then it's fine. But nothing resulted from the uh, free kick, and it was cleared. And that's all. Um, and that's all that happened really in the first half. However, in the 45th minute here, Bolton coming, uh, not. Uh, coming close but unfortunately the cross was denied from my defenders and it's still 1-0 going into the break and hopefully we can uh, continue this into the next half and as we pick up play in the 76th minute here Bolton playing some wonderful one-touch football with each other who whips it in and a wonderful save from Button and Blackett forcing to be forcing to clear the ball and as Gray picks up the ball but unfortunately the defender is able to stop him and in the 53rd minute here, wonderful bit of play from the two teams. But it goes well, well wide of the, of the post with a terrible shot, if I'm perfectly honest. And here in the 55th minute here, a wonderful over the top through ball. But the keeper is able to stop the, um, the ball from causing any trouble to his goal line. And as we move on here, still in the 59th minute, still wonderful play from my team. Another wonderful over-the-top through ball. A fantastic over-the-top through ball. And Andy Gray 
takes it past the goalkeeper, scores the goal, and in the 60th minute, it's Brentford 2, Bolton 0. We are just, we're just picking up, we're like a, we're like a ship, hopefully we won't be like Titanic, sinking it all the time. And in the 65th minute here, the header just goes wide, and it's still 2-0, due, uh, due to the defender getting in the way, and it's 2-0, corner, Bolton need to come back if they want to rescue this game. Their ideal chance is here, but Button makes a fantastic save, and he is not letting this club shink, sink like the Titanic did. Uh, in that very good film, it was quite a good film. I mean, I don't uh, unless it's is it based on a real uh, thing. Well, I hope I hope I hope it isn't. But nevertheless, we digress in the 78th minute. Ida Gudjonsson's shot goes well, well wide of the post, and as we get things moving here again in the 81st minute, the over top through ball is played to Hogan. Hulk Hogan cuts inside, but is unable to find anything uh, positive. And here, as the one and only Emil Heskey is played through. To Eidegard Jonsson. Eidegard Jonsson's shot goes well, well, well wide of the post. But luckily for us, it would never cause any threat if it did go in and it was offside. And that was all for that game. We are on two, uh, two, two game winning streak so far. Hopefully we can continue it into the next game. And as we move into the next game against Rotherham, uh, I was feeling positive despite the fact that it was raining. I mean, I don't perform very well in the rain, but I'm not trying to give myself excuses here. And hopefully we can continue the good form that we've shown in the previous two games. And in the 16th minute here, Hogan picks up the ball, cuts inside, and gets a penalty, gets given a penalty. Surely, surely this time we can find the back of the net with the penalty. The referee doesn't give a yellow card or a red card. Gray right down uh, on the green and finds the back of the net. And it's Brentford 1, Rotherham 0. And machine guns everywhere. We see here today and it's 1-0 and we continue the crusade to victory and in the 20th minute 27th minute here uh, Rotherham pick up play wonderful bit of passing pinpoint accuracy and what do you know they find the back of the net and it's Rotherham 1 Brentford uh, 1 and I was not happy with that because the team was playing so poorly during that they couldn't uh, defend for their lives Button is not happy and we are beginning to uh, we're Probably 50% now to the to the Titanic completion, but as a result, we need to fight and we continue. And it has here Jota cutting inside, still going, still going, and finds the back of the net. And it's Brentford two, Rotherham one, and we are not letting a team beat us. We're not letting any team get any points. We want to crusade through this whole league get promoted. However, in the 79th minute here, a fantastic save from Button. But luckily for us, it was offside. So yet again, if the shot had gone in, it would not have counted due to the offside position of the attacker. However, in the 77th minute here, we continue play uh, here as Gray cuts inside. Wonderful bit of play. Still going Gray. And he crosses it to Pritchard, but Pritchard is unable to do anything with it. And then in the 90th minute here, uh, Rotherham have a corner and I was quite nervous with this because they could easily score I'm not very good with defending corners luckily they didn't and Button just decides to clear it Gray is un unable then to uh, get the ball uh, and as a result it finishes uh, oh no sorry <laughs> uh, tries to take it around the keeper uh, doesn't do very well thinks he's mucked it up and it turns out he has because that's all that happened Rotherham 2 Rotherham 1 sorry Brentford 2 and we win the game and Jota and Gray looking very happy with themselves and we continue a three game winning streak and as always guys if you have enjoyed the episode leave a like subscribe if you are new if you did not like the episode tell me why in the comments down below and I'll do better next time thank you and goodbye